Well, the pandemic is far from the only health crisis around the country. Now there's a landmark settlement agreement in America's opioid epidemic. A group of state attorneys general reached a $26 billion settlement with Johnson & Johnson and three other companies that distributed painkillers. It comes after addiction and overdose deaths skyrocketed in the U.S. 3 News Now reporter Ken Lutzen joins us with more about how this deal could impact Nebraska's fight against addiction. Kent. That's right, Jenny and Cerise. The settlement includes Cardinal, McKesson, and Amerisource Berg and the nation's three major pharmaceutical distributors, along with Johnson & Johnson, which manufactured and marketed opi opioids. Now, the three distributors collectively will pay up to $21 billion over 18 years. Johnson & Johnson will pay up to $5 billion over nine years with up to $3.7 billion paid during the first three. Dr. Kenneth Zuha, a University of Nebraska medical center doctor who specializes in addiction, says some of that money will filter into Nebraska to help prevent this type of crisis from ever happening again. And, and the prevention monies will be going to um, cities, counties, communities, tri tribal um, areas, um, and, and the state, which I think will be great. Um, some of the money will be going to help with treatment uh, of patients that have substance use disorders, opioid use disorders specifically, and that some of the money will be going towards law enforcement um, to help in their efforts as well. States now have 30 days to decide whether to agree to this deal. Local governments have five months to sign on. Nebraska Attorney General Doug Peterson says a separate lawsuit has been filed against Purdue Pharma, the largest manufacturer of prescription opioids. Purdue is currently in bankruptcy proceedings where the court is evaluating another similar settlement with the states. In the studio, Kent Lutzen, 3 News Now this morning.